Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Well, we're down here at the Retreat Garden, and don't know if you can see, but asparagus is still coming up. Again, not picking this year in order to get the roots nice and healthy to withstand any bad drought we have. Looks like we may get some seeds. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, at least five, fe maybe six female plants. So I'm hoping we get some. Spaghetti squash. Plants don't look that good. Looks like we're going to have to increase the watering again. As you notice, the way to tell is they're turning orange really quickly. And uh, they're still quite small. So, this is what, sorry about the bumping. Say, beautiful, but it's very small, which tells me it's definitely too dry. So, I got some nice looking ones that were shaded, that got big enough. But, we're going to have to increase the watering. Stevia, doing good. I'm going to chop it down some, see if we can get it to, uh, I know you're here somewhere, get it to bulk up a little more into like bushes. Got some nice tomatoes hiding in there. And again with the squash, ripened too early. Got a lot of itty bitty ones that are ripe. But they're still alive, so that's good. Definitely need water. Got a couple weeds in there, which is kind of surprising to see. And then tomatoes. You can see all the brown. It's because of the watering. It's just slowly sapping the energy out of it. So we'll take care of that this weekend. Not a single garlic came up yet. Or carrot. Onions are still alive, so the watering is working. Maybe not as good as it should. We need to uh, increase it again. See if we can get that garlic to sprout. Tomatoes. Got quite a bit of red in there. Bug damage, of course. That's what happens when you get an unattended garden. Got rid of the delicata squash. Planted some sweet potatoes that I had growing and made slips. More of the cleaned up tomatoes. Filled in the empty spaces of onions, hoping the garlic shows up soon. Pulled out half the spaghetti squash. Uh, one of my fellow YouTubers was nice enough to give me some elephant garlic. And I'm really excited about planting it. She says to plant in October, so that's what I'll do. So I wanted to clean a spot up for it and get it ready. Picked off all the spaghetti squash. Going to keep half the bed. And so that's what we have going so far. Let me show you the harvest. Alright, there's the cherry type tomatoes. Not a whole lot of them this time. But I have one, two, one way over there, and three boxes of beautiful tomatoes. They are just gorgeous. No sunburn. Really pleased. Box of green peppers. Two bags of spaghetti squash and probably about an eighth of that bag. One of those bags is the delicate squash. Harvested the last head of tobacco seeds. I really like this better. As you can see, very few seeds fell out. And then a couple of tobacco leaves at the bottom that were ready. But aren't these beautiful flowers? Whoops, there you go. Just beautiful. And there is the harvest from 
a two-week visit to the garden. It's doing really good maintaining its own. Very pleased. We are going to increase the water. It's supposed to be really, really hot the next couple weeks. And I can see the stress on the tomatoes already. So we're going to increase it. Uh, we'll actually reduce the time down to fit, uh, 90 minutes, but do it twice a day and see how that goes. It's really nice and moist, but it, the heat is just horrible on everything. Blessings.